Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to a sealed best of one qualifier event. This qualifies you for another qualifier that's happening next weekend. Uh, it's going to be also a limited sealed event that then qualifies you for the Pro Tour and the Arena Championship. So, yeah, I thought I'd just bring you along for the ride. Let's see what we get from our rares. And, okay, like kind of a mixed bag. Yeah, we got Gatekeeper, Performer, Intrude, and Axbane are all pretty good. Judith and Kylox, not so much, but uh, let's see what the rest of our pool has. So the way I like to do this is just like basically put all the, uh, you know, C, the C plus cards and above the cards I would like to play in my pool. So we'll just do that and I'll do a quick little uh, editing cutaway so you don't have to watch me do this and see what we have. Okay, so here's where we land for that. I like to also separate my multicolor cards from my uh, hybrid cards because, you know, the hybrid cards just a bit more flexible. So this shows us that, you know, white, white's pretty deep blues you know okay I actually think i'm gonna put these dramatic accusations in the board so they're not quite pulls into blue and uh yeah red looks pretty solid too black and green not so much green's got a good rare in axbane ferox uh so we might entertain green but uh, i'm gonna build kind of like the white x decks here white blue white red white white green and uh, yeah, we'll see what we are for each of them. So this is the core of the white red deck. And the things that the white red deck gives us are the pyrotechnic performer, which is going to be fine in our deck. Like it's, it's a two minute three, two that maybe, you know, you cast it on turn three, flip it up on four, deal them three points. But we don't have that many disguise creatures. So good card, but not like, oh my gosh, I have to play that card. Uh, we get meddling use. We get two people of interest. I guess that's how you say it in plural, right? <laughs> and uh, two chases on. So all really, really pair super nicely with our, our two drops over here. And I think that's really one of the strengths of this pool is having triple Market Watch Phantom and uh, double Guardian and, you know, Unyielding Gatekeeper. Like, just this, this is a good aggro base. You don't always get this in even like a pool where red and white are good. Like, this this is enough two drops to be like, yeah, this kind of looks like an aggro draft deck, right? So yeah, the, these, these cards are really... The big things right the, the four here so that's uh that's red white let's take a look at some of the other builds okay so this is blue white and by the way both this one and the last one didn't quite get uh 23 playable so we're gonna have to play some like you know kind of iffy stuff at the top end but this is just where we lie uh we get a private eye which is gonna be pretty good where our detective counts seven so you know not not a busted private eye but a pretty good one uh we've got again just more two drops added we get intrude on the mind that's like the big thing these two cards really Intruder of the Mind and uh, Private Eye. So these cards are better than most of our red cards. I would say, you know, performers on the same level of these, but we get uh, fewer good cards to fill the deck out with. Like Cold Gaze Tracker is good, Out Cold, Solid, Projector Inspector, good. But uh, the the other kind of filler cards in red, I think, are a little better. I don't even think I'm going to try the green deck. Like, there's just not enough good stuff that, like, I think the the card I get is Ferox from the green deck, and Ferox is worse than Untrue than mine, so I don't think I'm going to be doing that. So, I'm going to flesh out, let's flesh out this one to see what the final build would be. Like, we probably play uh, a second Hot Shot Investigator, the Dramatic Accusations, those are, like, you know, playable, certainly. And the last card, yeah, Make Your Move's not that bad. I actually don't mind Make Your Move. There's nothing really here. There's Push Pull, I suppose, but, like, you know, you don't really want this when you're attacking uh, on the ground i guess to be fair we've got these phantoms which are going to attack in the air a fair bit but i don't think i want that necessarily oh i can play thinking cap yeah that's totally solid there we go <laughs> okay so that's that's the blue white deck oh actually we're even one playable above so let's cut a dramatic accusation potentially that's the blue white deck let's find the uh, the final version of the, blue, the red white deck and see if it matches up well against this one so yeah this is the red white deck and we, we do have to play a few cards i'm not thrilled about like caught red-handed shitty informant but overall, kind of like I mentioned, a little bit less filler than the other deck. I guess form familiar familiar too. So, so we're really weighing these cards versus the one Intrude in the Mind and the, and the Detective, which it, it's pretty close, right? And, and of course, Performer too. I think I'm going to go with this deck. The red filler cards complement the, the white cards a bit better. Like having all these twos plus the chases on is great. Then following that up with with person of interest or people of interest, <laughs> so I, I think this is what I'm gonna go with and just you know scan the, the the pool here for anything I might have missed. I don't think so. I think everything else looks pretty good here. So yeah, this is it's gonna be my build. I, I'm gonna play 17 lands because we've got you know a good number of disguise creatures, good number of fours and fives. I don't think you want to skimp on lands here. And yeah, it's gonna be a pretty simple nine eight mana base. Probably lean towards white and we'll call it a day. All right. We'll see you in the games. Okay, we <laughs> our first opening hand has uh, a lot of our filler cards. 
I think I should probably mulligan this one. It's tough. I'm on the on the play, which makes me want to mulligan a little bit less because you don't get the extra card. But th this is a deck where I have enough twos that I think I will be able to see one when I mulligan to six. And, and again, these are kind of our crappier cards. So yeah, we'll mull and we get a much better hand. So we will be happy to keep this, putting back a mountain. All right. Yeah, player neighborhood guardian. This card is uh, a house, by the way. If you haven't played her with or against it, just like one of the best uncommons. Very, very strong. All right, they play Gauzy Inspector. That's uh, <laughs> that thing's not going to be blocking very much with my hand here. So I'm going to play the Forum Familiar first, I think. Okay, so which one do I want to play here? Both of these are two to flip up. They both kind of do the same thing. They like kind of save something I wanted to be saved. So. Let's play uh, the Gatekeeper. I think it's more likely I'm going to want to activate this one than activate the Familiar and pick something up. And hopefully Maker moves good against, you know, red-green deck, big things. Sample Collector. Ooh, that's, that's not a bad one for them. It's a good blocker. Oh, hello. Okay, so now we're just going to do that. So let's play a land, smash in. No matter where they block, we kind of get them. Hmm? <laughs> They're thinking about it. I guess if they double block on my Guardian, it's not great. Okay. But they didn't, so it is great. Nice. I play a face down creature. All right, Market Watch Phantom. Okay, so we're either going to be playing this... I think we're going to play the Phantom. Ooh, one one thing we can do too is like play Phantom, pump Guardian, flip, flip this thing to to blink something. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Okay, so we we get in with all of them then, right? And if they block here, double block here, great. If they double block here, uh, it's not as good, I suppose. So maybe we just get in with this one and see what they do. Okay, nothing. Uh, I guess that means we just pass and crack for clue. Keep this up. Yeah, just should hover over this one in case uh, you haven't seen it before. Or I guess my face is probably covering it. Can I drag it? No. <laughs> All right, they pitch a white card. That's a good sign. There we go. Now you can see it. How do I get it to... <laughs> is there a way I can get it to go over there? I don't know how I did that. All right, crack my clue. It's Unyielding Gatekeeper. There we go. There's the card. All right. Buy, draw a Pyrotechnic Performer. That's a nice one. So we'll play that. Mm-hmm. I'll just put all the stuff here. Let's get in. I, I could have sent other stuff, but that forces me to act first. If they, like, double block, I have to flip this. And they, they have two mana, so they could, like, kind of disrupt me on that turn. Cast a removal spell. Make uh make my turn pretty bad. Ooh, are we gonna get them here? Let's see. Yeah, I will zoop. Link it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's turning out pretty well for us. So let's flip this up. We're gonna get in with it this turn. Deal them three. Play the form familiar. Mm -hmm. Start there. Yeah, now we just send. All right, eight. Hmm. What if they don't kill the performer instead? I think they're thinking about it. <laughs> I think they're noticing. They're like, oh, wait a second. <laughs> That one's better to block. So if that's the case, I, I just pick up my performer. Because uh, this deals some damage. And then I can dome them with this thing again. And... Well, actually, sorry. I don't even need to do that. Because uh, they're die. <laughs> they die this turn. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Game two. And by the way, I don't know if I said this, but the structure for these events is... Uh, you you gotta get to two two no sorry six wins before you get to two losses so it's pretty pretty tight. All right, so let's play our phantom. 
it does feel pretty nice to have a draft deck. <laughs> a draft feeling deck in, in sealed. All right, shirt. Play our performer. Hmm. Could play this face up and play the cap. But I don't think that makes that much more of a mana efficient turn down the line. Means that... Yeah, I think we just play this face down. Like, we're going to play person of interest on turn four. Cap. And plus this next turn. Ooh, coat. All right, yeah, that's uh, quite the card. <laughs> so let's get in. I doubt they block. We have to race this thing. I'll uh, put this on screen too. If people haven't read it, one of the best rares in the set. Just really fantastic. You know, so we can kill them before they outvalue us. Play a tap land. Play a long goodbye on my face down creature. All right. You got me. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty bad if, like, I'm going to go for an attack this turn. It's pretty bad if they have a shock, but, like, I don't think I can just play around shock forever. It, it's going to be very, very difficult to win this game if I, uh, if they do have shock, because, like, this thing's just going to be dead for too long. All right, play lands. Get in. All right, they didn't. Great. So we'll just, uh,. Cracker clue this turn. I can, yeah, replay it this turn. Although we have a clean attack with this cap still. Put it on the 2 2. Mm hmm. All right. Land is not great, obviously, but uh, you do what you gotta do what you gotta do and keep pressing on. I land. So what are we hoping for now? Meddling youths would be good. Most of our spells, like make your move kills the uh the coat. Push pull looks pretty bad. Yeah, push pull well push pull's fine. Push pull just gets these two out. Gatekeeper. Out of my watch, kind of whatever. He's ones aren't great. So yeah, we, we have a, a good number of not great draws, even considering lands, which are obviously really bad draws here. Play another face down card. Ooh, when they attack. I'm not planning to block with it. Okay. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Uh, and we also got them with their pants down here. Since they don't have blue mana. Mm, nice take it. Wow. All right. They must really like this. Oh, wait, what am I saying? They can't block. <laughs> My bad. I was, I was thinking for a second they could block this. They can't. All right, we got him. We got him. Flip up. It's a dog walker. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, so we, we definitely have to have things go right for us, like them kind of drawing poorly, although they just got a bunch of cards in hand already. That's drawing pretty well. Mm-hmm. Shady informant, sure. Okay, another person of interest isn't bad, actually. Yeah, it helps us go wide. Um, we will pass the turn here. Can't really have don't really have good attacks with this informant. Okay. <laughs> Gigantic creature. The board's stalling out, which is actually kind of good. Like, they're not just killing us, which is a good thing, because that gives us more time to draw into those cards we need. Ouch. Poisoned. <laughs> Tap land. Yep, get with the informant. Just take it. Complication, sure. Due diligence. Ooh, what do you do? Not a ton in the face of this 6-5. So I think I have to wait until they maybe feel confident enough to attack with this. And maybe combo this with uh, another trick to close the game out. 
We could also just attack us this turn. Or like, a, a removal spell would probably kill us. Oh, yikes. <laughs> yeah, that, that kills us. All right, so they, they have to be very cautious here and not actually attack with everything. Okay, they didn't do... They didn't put me in a position where I just die. So that's a good thing. <laughs> Presumably. We'll see. We'll see. They can kill one of their things and we die, but... Ugh, that, that's almost good enough, but it, unfortunately... Well, let's see. There, there, there's some math we can do, but unfortunately, this this means... Oh, wait. <gasps> Can't be countered. <laughs> I was going to say, I have to sack something. I don't. I do not need to sack anything. Let's do that. <laughs> let's steal that. How about that? Mm-hmm. Uh, I will decline. Decline to sacrifice a creature. Okay. Uh, so now we just do diligence. One or the other. One. Yeah, th this should be fine. We should we should just have this. Like they, ha I I don't think there is anything they can have here. They could they could kill their own shady inform, but I imagine they would have done that already. All right, page is rewarded. They're going to see the next card. All right, we got there. <laughs> good, to, good to remind of the little rules and intricacies, right? Ward can't be countered. I mean, I guess it's kind of commonplace at this point, but... All right, there we go. Easy, easy game. <laughs> Unruly Oddish is our opponent. I've heard this name before. Hmm. wonder where. Okay, good hint. Two into three. Double fives. I guess a mountain would be appreciated so i can flip my gadget technician also if you haven't seen uh neighborhood guardian plus gadget technician and or uh dog walker and yeah, there we go ask receive so good because just instant speed able to pump something in combat just really really strong okay so now even if we don't draw something to do for three or four mana next turn we can flip this oh no all right fair enough hmm i don't attack all right, uh, I think that means we should not attack, too. So we'll just play this. Because uh, that means they, they are looking to block. Okay, ooh. Piece of candy. So we can Haza the Vigilante here and then Meddling Youths. Like, Vigilante, this gadget tech. And if they want to block, they have to double block. And that's not great for them. And they're also stuck on three mana. move sure you got me but now we just have a good turn with meddling use get to investigate Ooh, person of interest too it's a nice follow-up boom all right so they they traded our face down card i imagine but uh that's okay like our, our two two our gatekeeper and they still use bash for a million it's gadget tech Again, can be used in combat with this uh, new neighborhood guardian that we've drawn. Ooh, double maker move. Ambitious. <laughs> I like it. Market watch, phantasm. Okay, so... Yeah, we'll just get in for three. Play person of interest. Yeah, barring a, a no witness as a field wipe, we should... Well, let's we'll see what they play. I was going to say, we should just have it, but... They could definitely cobble together something. A shock plus a good like a shock plus a, a cheap flip up here plus something else although they haven't really been casting cheap cards so i imagine they just have a bunch of expensive stuff in hand okay another face down creature is good for us oh we're gonna have two two games back to back where this finishes the game i think it's worth going for could have a dog walker that that kind of was what would this would imply but that doesn't affect this combat and, like, even if this doesn't kill them, uh, it puts them in a really bad spot this turn. So if this goes wrong somehow, then, you know, whatever. Uh, but if it goes right, we win. Well, Granite Witness. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So they, they trade. Oh, they have the chump still. So that's really bad for them still. And this Granite Witness can't block. All right. Should have it now. Again, barring a field wipe. <laughs> Nice. Two games in a row. Colorado Hannity gets it done.
And that was one of my cards. I was like, eh, I don't really want to play that. But to, to be honest, to be honest, I, I've actually found even in draft, that card has been a bit better than I thought. Yeah, it, it looks really clunky, really bad. But the the instant speed nature of it doesn't matter too often. Sometimes it does, though. Like, I had a game where I stole my opponent's Massacre Girl in combat. Uh, and then we got Wither on all our creatures, and they didn't. So, yeah, you can do some stuff. All right, this is definitely a mall. We will, we will ship this one. You know it has. Uh, it heard me talking about it. It was like, put me in, coach. Ooh, this one sucks too. I think I mauled this. I think I mauled the five on the draw here. Uh, I would, I would keep this on the play, but on the draw, where well, we're gonna get an extra card, we can put some stuff back. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. And Steph, this is a better hand than the other two. Like I, I would happily keep this five. Like if you just showed me this five and the other two sixes, I, I would keep this. Or the six and the seven. I would choose this one. All right, an opposing phantom. They're gonna like do diligence their phantom. No, they're just gonna play a face down card. To make sense, makes sense. All right, another land, not great. Agent. Okay, well, luckily that's not super impactful against me right now. Mm -hmm. Second one. Okay, okay, this is actually good for me. We can't, like, we have an unmulliganed exactly, but <laughs> that, there are two cards being two agents where, you know, we don't really care too much about that card it is definitely nice. Oh, and due diligence is a good draw. All right, so, yep, we get in. Obviously, going to be sad if we draw one of our fives, which we do have multiple of. But we put one of them on the bottom. Ooh, Kaya. All right. Yeah, make a token. That's rough. We draw a a one mana red card and kill a Kaya. All right. So now, what are we doing about that? Oh, sorry. No, they have a flyer. It's not even true. So we could play the Shady Informant and chill. Uh, we could do diligence, the person of interest. That's that's pretty darn good. Yeah, do diligence, the person of interest, attack everything at Kaya. Yeah, let's let's do that. Because if they want to get rid of this, then have to block everything here, and they could choose to. Just like Kaya go here. I think that, that might be what they do. But maybe not. We'll see. Maybe like trade. Triple chump. Like two things in front of this. One thing here. Kind of depends what the last card is I would say. I think it's in their best interest to not the block. But you know I don't know what's in their hand. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah they they just they do do that. Uh, Yeah. I, I'll take that all. Yep. Yep. Kai goes to two. We play this. And, and they're going to have like a 1-1 one, one factory going, of course. P Defender. All right, that one's not so bad. Last card. Clandestine Meddler. All right. Yep, they get names. Real one. Maybe they'll forget to activate Kaya. <laughs> Can't we be so lucky? No? Okay. Pyrotechnic Performer. It's not bad with the Shady Informant. So, yeah, we play Informant face down here. Plan to flip that up next turn. Let's play this and flip it on the same turn. Although, yeah, I think we need the Shady Informant. Okay, so... Play this. Bash with both Akaya. They trade here, I assume. Or Meddler. That makes sense, too. Akaya goes to one. Okay. And they, they topped a card they liked, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Drift not tracker. 
I mean, yeah, it's it's a card that matters here. <laughs> it's not it's not like critically bad for me or anything. But like here's the thing: like I, I kill a Kaya and then I'm just in, still in a pretty bad spot. The the best thing possible would be if they like throw everything in front, make trades. Maybe I, I draw something that eventually that, that does kill a Kaya or like a combat trick, and then like we draw answers to these, but. I guess combat trick wouldn't even really do with these cards. All right, yeah, we take it. Cause now they they might just go okay, send it Kaya, sure, no blocks, and then I, I die in the crack back, right? Mm, this was close to being good. Or if they double block my face down card, we might have a chance here. As it stands, we're just dead, but you know, good to make them maybe make a mistake. Or they could, like, yeah, put the tracker in front. And I would not be dead. Though I have to kill Kaya. <laughs> and then kill this repeat offender. Oh, Kaya. Okay, yeah, they, they, that makes sense. Okay, no, we are just dead. Yeah, okay. Good game. All right. Another kind of awkward hand. So we've got a three. And we're on the draw, so I'm more likely to hit a land. Yeah, I think this is probably a keep. Uh, it, it's close, close to them all, but... Being on the draw makes it okay. Anyway, on the chase, not the card we want to see. Ooh, Phantom is the card we want to see, though. And then hopefully land. <laughs> Please, magic gods. It went this way. All right, opponent's ramping to a black source. That can't be good. Okay, there, there's the, the land. We kind of needed that. Uh, let us get it in. Play this informant. And now we've got some pressure on. If we get another land, we're in pretty good shape. Black, you know, could mean Izoni, could mean a lot of things. Extract. Hmm. I think I'm going to sack my informant. I don't foresee myself uh, flipping that anytime soon. Land. Nice. Okay, that, that sets us up to be in a good spot, even if they have a really good card coming. Mm-hmm. And if they have a really good card coming, maybe we get to uh, cut red-handed. <laughs> Izoni does currently collect enough evidence to make the tokens, unfortunately. Topiary Panther. Okay, that's that's a good one to kill. <laughs> or to, to steal, sorry. Um. So what do we do now? We can attack all and then chases on one of the things crack the clue we could attack with uh play person of interest attack with the two menace creatures yep that's that's a little bit better or sorry the menace creature and the flying creature this menace creature trades for the face down card then our other menace creature is more likely to get in here's a good example you know i always talk about this but here's a good example of this kind of card just like kind of rotting in my hand uh as i'm the aggro player here Kill a attack or an attacking creature. I mean, it's going to have a use at some point, but I would just prefer this to be a creature or a combat trick. Fairy Snoop. Okay, that's that's good for me. It's nothing too bad. Nothing that affects the board too much. And a Vanifar. All right. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, so if I steal their Topiary Panther here, what happens? Mostly good things, right? They're mostly good things. They That's six. They eat this. They, yeah. And then this thing can't block. And then we can, on the chase, yeah. We, we just. Is there a chance we die next turn? <laughs> is the question. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Because Vanifar. Probably not. I could also just attack on, on the chase. One thing gets eaten. But Vanifar dies, and then we can then red-handed next turn. Yeah, and then we get to crack a clue. Okay, that, that's a little bit better. It's kind of worth considering uh, caught red-handing to... You know, when they're tapped out, we actually get the thing. Okay, yeah, kill Vanifar. Okay, so they go to eight. Play land past the turn. Nothing. Nothing, eh? Okay. 
neighborhood guardian. Okay, so how does this go wrong if we steal this? They bounce it or something? We still have a really good turn because we can still play the neighborhood guardian. So yeah, let's just go for it. And of course, you know, even if we don't win this turn, the panther can't block anymore. Mm hmm. Okay, that's a good sign. Could have cold, uh, cold case, right? That that's something they could have here. Tap down this and this. I get it for only two. Okay, no, they don't have that. All right, nice. Another one, just two more till we get there, which is kind of tough because uh, now here's here's where the the pools you face get really bust though. <laughs> We're gonna see multiple bombs. It's okay though. We just have to make sure we have good opening hands. And this is one. Yep. Garrett Guardian into some other stuff. Gadget Tech Guardian. On the draw, so unfair. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll survive. Oh, well, the chase is a good one. Or the chase is on. Cycler Panther? No. They have something to play for green, green. Or just green. Interesting. Face down card. Alright, so let's play our gadget tech so that we can on turn four flip this up and play another two. Another face down card. Okay. All right, so play this, play the Phantom. Mm -hmm. Right there, get in. Hopefully they just block, single block my face down creature. Exactly, got to do the thing, yep. Tech <laughs> targets itself. Yep, 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 all right, good. Good spot to be in. Cast a two drop. Ooh, they are also missing a color, it seems. Yeah, I've had a lot of opponents uh, in these sealed events just kind of, like, play three colors willy-nilly, it seems. I, I, you know, I never can tell what the opponent's mana base is, but... Uh... Let's see, let's just go Vigilante. Yeah, I obviously don't know what the opponent's mana base is, but I've seen a lot of kind of loose-ish looking mana bases. All right, in here, and I don't think we want to allow anything else to trade, so we'll just get with the flyer. Sweet. All right, so play our familiar face down. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Gonna give the point to the phantom. And we're just gonna bash all. I might not even cast the chases on here. We'll, we'll see what they do, but I don't, I'm not really in a position where I need to blink first. Okay, hopefully this means they're just gonna, like, flip and... We get the trade. Fanatical strength. Okay, that was the green mana thing they have. So now we get to go, let's see, not close to lethal, right? Well, it is close to lethal, so we should do the math. Uh, we are a point off. Okay, so we're just going to win the combat instead. Yep, so they go to four. And I don't think red and green have anything that can get in the back from this spot. And plant panther, then we'll see a black card, I assume. Oh, white card. They're playing four colors. Huh. Binding. Not good enough. All right. That's it. So we're one, we're one game away. One game away from getting there. Let's see if we can nab it. All right. Here we go. Praying for a good opening hand and being on the play. One time? Well, we got one of the two things. <laughs> we got a good opening hand. And, uh, yeah. Don't mind this one at all. Oh, the opponent unfortunately keeps their seven. How unlucky. Land's not bad. We've got a five in hand. All right, play our Guardian. Oh, no response. That's good. Face down creature, please. Bird of Courier. That's a little annoying because that is a... Uh... Oh, interesting. Okay, now we just do that. Yeah, this this actually works out really well. So now we do this. Oh, sorry. No, it doesn't. I was going to play my performer, but that doesn't trigger the Guardian. Okay, so we're now just going to do this instead. And I think just play the Guardian face up. That's fine. With this on the chase. 
thought I was going to get a really awesome turn where we get to attack with the Guardian, but uh, I will not give that... No, so the fact is... Uh, yeah, I thought we were going to have an excellent turn where we get to, like, pump this twice, but, you know, even even still, it's fine. I guess we have to worry about a field wipe here in blue-white. They didn't really do much. We'll, we'll see. Like, if they have the field wipe, I think they cast this turn, most likely. We'll see what they do. Ooh, they're missing a color. See, again, again these mana bases, I tell ya. <laughs> I mean, it, it definitely is more apparent because I'm playing an aggro deck where I don't give my opponent much time. But, all right, Private Eye, that works out well for us. Let's get in there. I think them playing Private Eye means they do not have a field wipe. It's pretty safe to say. Mm-hmm. We get to like a vigilante on the scapegoat. It's kind of nice. They pitch doppelgang. All right. Yeah. They don't want an eight drop in the sand or against me. Oh, interesting. Yeah. We'll go for the, uh, the non hasty option and the also the option that we still get something if they happen to have a, a cheap removal spell here. I think I do now. I don't know, but I need to suspect this thing. Like, if I suspect this thing, it, it's it's a big hitter. But I think they're if they're going to point a removal spell at something, they point it here. And, and keeping this a relevant card, like a 2-2 two, two Menace, is probably nice. So I think no suspecting. All right, let's see what they do. Oh, cool. All right, that's fine. That's just buying them a turn. Museum Nightwatch, right? That one's not too bad either. Yeah, Melmung Use coming down. Get to attack for a bunch. Uh, ooh, this, this now gets interesting because they have a fine double block here. I still think, no, I still think we're cool with this. Yeah, put it there. Just gonna go to two? Or sorry, four? All right, I respect it. I, I guess that means, again, means no field wipe, so we can kind of sleep sound here. It's a good sign. <laughs> I like what I'm seeing. Yeah, all right, all right, we, we did it. And, and you're like, here's the thing. Our opponents in the last few rounds got a little bit mana screwed, stumbled a little bit, but that, that's, you know, like I mentioned before, that's kind of the advantage of, of playing the aggro deck. You get to punish those stumbles. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Yeah, this was fun. Uh, just one final look at the deck. Yeah, I mean, good deck. Like I said, it was nice that we opened up kind of a, a draft or, yeah, draft looking pool. But uh, play nice. I think it uh, was fun. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this. All right. Good luck if you're playing in this. And I don't know. We'll see if I, if I record next weekend. I'm not exactly sure yet. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. All right. Bye, everybody.